Hello, in this problem we're going to find the exact value of 2 minus 4 times the sine squared of 15. So the first thing that you might notice is that both of these have a common factor of 2. So let's just go ahead and start this problem by factoring out a 2. So 2, parentheses, and then 2 times what number will give us 2? Well, that would be 1. And then minus 2 times what is going to give us all of this? Well, just 2 and then sine squared of 15 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and put parentheses here just because I like it better. <laughs> it just looks better to me. I don't know why I didn't write it originally. It doesn't really matter, but I like to add them. So at this point, um, there's an identity that comes to mind. Recall that if you have the cosine of 2x, that's equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. This is an identity from trig um, that we're going to use in this problem. So here, what's happening is we still have our 2. And then our x here is 15 degrees, you see? That's our x. And so you see it's here. There's the 2, there's the sine squared, there's the 1, there's the 1. So all of this is all of this down here, okay? So then it's just going to be cosine of 2x. So cosine of 2 times, and our x is 15. So 15 degrees, just like that. Really, really nice. So this is equal to 2. I'm going to go ahead and write it again out here. Just I feel like it's trapped. So 2 times 15 is 30. <laughs> and plus it's good to multiply. And now we just have to figure out the cosine of 30 degrees. Well, the cosine of 30 degrees is simply the square root of 3 over 2. So this is times the square root of 3 over 2. These cancel, and so you get the square root of 3. For many people, um, one of the hardest parts is figuring out um, what the cosine of 30 degree actually is. Uh, let's just talk about that briefly because I think it'll be maybe a little bit instructive because I think this is the, a thing that a lot of people have a hard time with. Obviously, if you can use a calculator, you're okay, although it's going to give you a decimal. Many people end up memorizing that decimal uh, simply so they don't have to memorize the square root of 3 over 2. So the sine of 60, okay, the sine of 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. And 60 in radians is uh, the same as pi over 3. Uh, 30 in radians is the same as pi over 6. And then the sine of 30 is 1 half. So how do I know that? Because if I memorize, if you memorize just one of them, like say you just memorize this one, once you know that the sine of 60 or pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2, that means that the sine of 30 is the other one, so it's 1 half. Because these are the two that people often mix up in their minds. So memorize one, and then you know the other one is 1 half. And then here it's simply reversed. So this one's 1 half, so this one has to be the square root of 3 over 2. Likewise, these can't be the same, so this is 1 half. So it's a cheap trick to memorize the uh, all of these angles, uh, cosine of uh, trig function values rather, cosine of 30, cosine of 60, sine of 30, sine of 60, or same thing, pi over 3 or pi over 6. You can memorize all of that simply by memorizing one. A bit of a tangent there, but hopefully, if you're still watching, that's helped you in some way. And hopefully this video has helped you on your trigonometric journey. Good luck.